Okay, we are at the gravel yard. They got all sorts of fun little chunks of rock around here. We just got loaded up with some crushed concrete and we're gonna go home and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be using that for. So stick around. Fortunately for me, I don't live very far from the gravel yard at all. It's like a three mile drive and it's all back roads on my way back. So I can go as slow as I need to. And today I do need to go slow because they loaded me very unevenly. The back part of the trailer is much heavier there's more material in the back part of the trailer than there is the front and that's that's just kind of how it's just kind of how the rock falls into the trailer with a great big loader bucket um, you know the loader bucket's 10 feet wide and my trailer's 10 feet long and uh, sometimes that happens um, i should have been prepared and brought a rake and a shovel or something just to kind of even out that load but i didn't so i'm just driving real slow on my way home uh, and it's going just fine so and, and I'm aware of the uh, I'm aware of the death wobble, right? The trailer gets going too fast down the down a highway or something, and your load isn't uh, distributed well. You can get yourself into some big trouble. So I'm I'm being sure that I'm not going over 40 miles an hour here on my way home, and I'm watching that trailer for any sign of wobble. So yeah, that's what we're up to. So let's get home and get this unloaded. God, I wanted to show you the uneven load. See how heavy it is in the back? It's just super loaded in the back. Not a whole lot up in the front. That's why we had to drive real slow. Plus there's about 5,000 pounds of rock in here. And the trailer itself weighs just over 2,000. And the truck's maximum towing capacity is just around 7,000 pounds. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to press my luck by getting any more rock in there than that one than what was there. Yeah, this thing's just about pulling the truck wheels off the bottom. Woo! Handy to have a dump trailer, I tell you. Okay. I love this little dump trailer. It's just got one simple little hydraulic cylinder in the middle. That's all that lifts up, but this thing really lifts a lot. I've actually had 9,000 pounds worth of uh, sand in there one time, and I was surprised. It almost lifted it. I had to shovel out a little bit on the back, but it just about almost lifted it. Okay. If you guys are wondering what a load of crushed concrete like this costs, $26.91.
<laughs> it's a lot cheaper when you can haul it yourself. Let me tell you, it is a lot cheaper. To have this delivered would probably be 100, 150. And it's just ridiculous. But yeah, so $26.91. Very happy with that. I love this AI2 tooth bar, reversible and super easy to reverse. Just take all the other bolts out except for the center one, turn it, tighten them back up, it's that easy. So uses the factory holes in your bucket, right? The factory holes that your bucket already comes with, your BX80 series, the factory bucket holes, uses those same holes. AI2 tooth bar, I'll put a link in the description.
You all know I hate shoveling, but I just can't avoid it here. Just with the little I've done so far, it already looks so much better. Look at this, looking good. Nice little area to walk around in here. That look better. Compared to what it was over here, we've yet to do all this, which, how about those hollyhocks, huh? They're really blooming crazy. Tomatoes are looking good too, aren't they? I'm pretty pleased with them so far. We do need some rain. We could definitely use some rain because the lawn looks really bad, really dry. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and I will show you what it looks like when we're all done. That's what I have left, quite a bit actually, which is kind of what I figured, but I'd rather have a lot more left than uh, not enough, but uh, I'll find I'll find places for it. So I'm gonna show you how it turned out. Looks pretty good actually. This garden right here is a total fail, but uh, I'll try to replant some lettuce in there maybe, and maybe I can get something out of it. But yeah, it turned out really well. I'm leaving those daisies just because butterflies like those. So, um, but yes, look at this. Turned out really good, I'm happy with it. The tomatoes are doing great and this stuff packs down really nice. So, yeah, this, this garden here needs some work. You can see how crooked that board is, but edged it with some, with some brick that I have and Got back here as well. And that's, that garden's also a little crooked here, but it's looking good. So that really dresses it up quite a bit. So there you go, guys. Small tractor, small dump trailer, <laughs> and a small yard. They go very well together. Hope you're all doing well. Keep on tractoring. God bless.